Let's take a look. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You're also tired as fuck or something, you know, or like you have to make dinner or some bullshit, you know. Yeah, I, just, I know how it is, dude. I know how it is. Um, so, okay. So, mostly weekend stuff, sometimes on the weekday. Um, honestly, just like with any uh, skill or sport, it's like when you're a kid, right? You have all this time to like practice and stuff. But like when you're an adult, there are like time constraints. Like uh, the classic example is always piano, you know, like, oh, force your kid to play piano. And uh, you have all this time to learn. They're actually good. But then when you're the, an adult and you're trying to like learn piano, you're like, bro, it's impossible, right? So um, just uh, keep that in mind as we are uh, talking about things to improve on because you are going to have to use your time wisely. We cannot fix everything at the same time. We'll have to target. Yep. <laughs> right it's, sometimes it's a curse right you're like dude i can't do anything right so fucking paralyzed right so which of these you want to start with okay and we were mostly playing samir it seems like right I see, I see. So then you're like, you know what? I'm breaking up with Tristana. <clears throat> I see, I see. Well, um, this will be good. You have a Sona, so you can't play the game, right? I love that. Um, let's fast forward a little bit. How does laning phase usually go? Hmm. Interesting. And you take W here. Oh, okay. We blocked the uh, follow up. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> I wonder if you can block Nala's I'm pretty sure you can, right? Or no? Okay, that's what I figured. But um, getting here is not necessarily bad. I mean, we got the uh, we got the trade and we blocked the Kaelin damage anyway. So <clears throat> trading is. Oh, this is a little bit awkward. Uh. Why does Sona have no... She has W, right? Okay, yeah, there, there it is. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Don't panic. We're good, guys. We're just uh, depression for a little bit, right? This thing is pretty boring. I mean, all you do is just last year on your tower waiting for uh, some trading opportunities, right? But um, not really much to do here. Not really much to say here, right? Except uh, don't get hit less, I guess. Like, <laughs> here, I guess, for example, she's, like, hitting you, right? So... Um, a good trick to know is uh, there is a line here. And if you cross this line, they can hit you and run away without the tower hitting them. So you're directly on this line. So that's why uh, Kaelin's doing this stuff, okay? But, like, not something I would worry about at your level, honestly. So, just, it's just something good to know. Um, this never works. This is a waste of time. You should spam ping your jungler. Absolute waste of time. This will only get you guys killed. So, yeah, um... I don't know what's happening here, but it is no bueno. This is this is this is how we lose the game essentially if we do stuff like this. So so we should talk about this because um, I think it's really important. So we see Greg is top right, and Nocturne's like obviously like dude, we gotta do something, right? But what is the something you guys are gonna do? <laughs> yeah, and honestly, there, you didn't even get a flash. Kalen just came back to suicide, right? So. Yeah, um, uh, it's not really your decision to do this, but if you spam back ping, maybe he'll be like, okay, I could do crap, right? So what are some options we can do that's not ganking when their jungle shows topside? We can push and take take this stuff, right? Or at least take control, okay? But know that if this happens, your goal is not to kill them because you're never going to kill them, <laughs> All right? So I just want to be wary of this. I mean, it's not like we died here or anything, but... I want to be wary of stuff like this because this is very common in solo queue where uh, you will follow up and then it's a disaster. <laughs> right, so. <clears throat> a 
We could have gone for a freeze there, I guess, but um, this is not bad too. Uh, Nalus is pulling the wave. That is really unfortunate. Oh, now Nocturne's inting on the dragon for some reason. Hopefully, Sona saves him. Nice. Not nice. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Your jungle is uh, trolling, I guess? Yikes. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, this lane is a test on how well you can farm. Somehow, I didn't really see how we missed so much farm, but um, that's interesting. What do you think? How do we how are we down so much CS? Mm, true. Uh, I mean, is this the same thing? I mean, okay, Kaylin has no flash this time, so it's not the same thing, I guess. <laughs> Doable. Just get the fear on Kaylin force, right? So, um, uh, oh, okay, fuck it, kill Nalus instead. I'm down. All right now we go for Kaylin. Not bad. I think you forced on this. He's got okay. Yeah, good, 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 good. Well played. Well played. This time it was actually working because they have no sums. Fast forward. We push the wave. Get as much as you can. Uh, there is no fake base angle here. I guess there's a trick you can do where you can pretend to base if Sona has six. But um, yeah, exactly. But Sona's not six, so and she's not getting six, so we just base. That's fine. Let me take a look at the base timer. Um. You base immediately, right? Um, that's kind of weird. What was the point of this? Of what? Vision of... Uh, well, this word here on the bush. Right, because... Do we have this covered already? Ah, uh, exactly, right? So, if you want to put a word here... You should practice this. What kind of word are we putting down here? Uh, that's too far, right? Then you lose your base timer. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, for what purpose? True, but not exactly primarily language. Although that is very useful. I don't think they're going to do it at this ELO. If if they push, how do we punish? What kind of gank is available to us? If we put a word down right on top of where you are. TP gank. So we need to check TP. It's the easiest way to get free TP kill <laughs> in this elo. Cause uh yeah, yeah, just yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. I mean they just they don't fucking know TP is coming, right? It's pretty funny. It will always work, I promise you. Um and TP gank is really easy. Your top laner just like, oh they're dead, I TP now, right? Super simple. You know, there's no coordination really needed. Um, so yeah. Oh, someone already put the TP ward down. That's nice. Sona already got it. So we're good. We are good. We are good. Um, so here we're just gonna uh, just you know farm until Sona has six again. Ah, uh, the usual. Nocturne has six soon. So let's see what's happening here. This is a really slow game, huh? Uh, <clears throat> Okay, good. Because especially for this ELO, it's surprising how slow it is. But I mean, it makes sense with um, you have a Sona, so... What the fuck? Okay, I mean, this is with doable. I'm down. Just uh, R, and then flash if she flashes. Oh, no! Okay, we gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about this. Uh, okay. So... This Kaylin dies. But how come she didn't die? You did! This is fine. Yeah, check it out. There's something really interesting happened here. Um, this is, I, I don't think this is normal. Okay, so watch your mouse. Ready? Okay. So you thought you couldn't, you didn't catch up. Well, you did. It's interesting. Right? There's also, there's also another way to catch up as well, by the way. Yeah, exactly. So it's interesting. I'm not really sure what to say about this, but mm, I guess I wouldn't worry about this too much unless it happens a lot. Okay, um, but it is really important because that was the <laughs> that was your kill, <laughs> right? So 
Uh, the play is still okay. Oh, I mean, Nocturne got them, I guess. But the play is still okay. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little interesting. I'm not really sure. Um, we'll have to see how the PvP goes in other fights. But yeah, um, she was definitely dead. So I'm not sure. What do you think about this? Yeah, 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 it's interesting, it's interesting. Okay, we'll see more. I'm sure we'll see more, all right. Um, we face check the jungler here, didn't we? Yeah, um, you can press W, but uh, probably dying to mid. Or, oh, you did, you did not just go back to the tower. Oh, no. Okay, okay, let's talk about this. Okay, what is happening here? Okay, so that's one problem. Okay, what's it? What's the other problem? Right. So, yeah. Well, well, why do we? Why are we? Uh, so like, okay. So let's let's back it up like thirty seconds. Okay. So we're we're coming from base right here. Yeah, we see we see Gregus right. And like, oh, okay, he left, bro. He's gone forever, right? Well, that's not how it works. It's tricks. It's all tricks, right? And if we take a look at where our jungle is, right? Gragas can only do two things. What is it? What are they? Right. Or, or sorry, or, or base, right? So, if I, if I ain't see shit, right, what do we have to assume? Yeah, he's just chilling. He's just sitting there the whole time, right? So, something, um, we definitely have some kind of map awareness um, idea going on here because if you doubt it's stuff like this, it's unplayable, right? Um, uh yeah it's like oh we are fucked and we lose the dragon right and we give up whatever lead we had in lane so it's like oh it's like triple whammy almost like we lose our lane we give jungle an advantage and we lose the dragon <laughs> right it's a really big disaster really big disaster um so definitely something to think about as we keep watching but if that happens to you uh somewhat often we probably should look at ways we can um fix this right um, some being which, you know, the uh, we look at the map after we clear waves and we say, okay, where where is the jungle and milliner, right? Well, I guess in our case, where is just the jungler? Where are both junglers? My jungler, their jungler, right? And that will determine how you want to, um, that will determine what decisions you want to make. Also, we should talk about this. Is that also something super illegal and we didn't punish? <laughs> Yo, he's on the red, right? Is this allowed? How come? Yeah, I mean, we're going to have the first hit on him. If we should, yeah, if we show up, what are we going to do? We're going to kill his ass, right? So, uh, that's interesting. We didn't, uh, we didn't immediately go. But, uh, oh my god, is this real? He's looking for Krugs, too. Look, everyone's, like, question pinging this. He's like, bro, what? He's, like, pinging you for help. Like, <laughs> Holy shit, this is actually so funny. Um, dude, this Gragas is actually, it's like you're a police officer outside the bank, and he's, like, robbing the bank right now. <laughs> All right, we got him, boys. You were waiting until we actually got the cash, right? So, hey, we good, we good. Oh, please kill this guy. Thank God. All right, you know what? Like, we eventually got him, right? But, um, yeah, I do think, you know, after seeing that, maybe there is a map awareness idea going on here, right? Because maybe you did see him, but you decided, oh, okay, it's just like he's just doing whatever, right? But, um, yeah, it's definitely interesting. Right, right. That guy is fucking actually breaking so many laws there. What the hell? <clears throat> it was so bad we didn't punish and then he died anyways, right? Pretty funny, pretty funny stuff, honestly. Uh, but okay, let's keep going. Um, so we're kind of stuck bot, it looks like. But Kaylin hasn't moved, so maybe it's not a problem. <laughs> Alright, she's dead. Just go on Sona ulti, right? And it, just pretend Gregus doesn't exist. Fuck it. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Let's go. Let's go! <clears throat> no, 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 no. Gale Force is fine. Oh, fuck it. We got it. Wow. That was so good, actually. I did not expect Sona to flash ulti. That was really good. And you you followed. That was, that was actually 10 out of 10. Very nice. Very nice. You guys are comms? That was so natural. That was really good. Well played by you. That's funny. You knew you could catch up here, but you didn't know you could catch up the other time. I think this one's harder. 
But uh, maybe that's just me. Uh, uh, okay, we should talk about. We gotta talk about this. I think. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Nautilus and Gregus are coming, right? Okay, so. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> uh i guess we robbed the bank in broad daylight here uh interesting interesting but yeah maybe we should um start backing off because the instant you see gragas we already won right that means your jungle is gonna kill top which is what he's attempting to do right now um uh, he better kill top i'm pretty sure he's gonna kill top right he doesn't ulti and lose okay good 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 so we're gonna push this they're sharing mid we get the tower fast forward uh you can probably you could probably go for another wave if you wanted but um we should go mid here right so here you're pathing dragon we should we should we should talk about uh we should talk about what we should do here in the mid game okay <clears throat> you're pathing dragon here right because you want the dragon when is it how, how many seconds until dragon spawning 30 seconds so in order to get dragon control what must we always do before we run into the river exactly so only exception is like Late game, fuck the mid prowl, just ace, right? Just team fight, right? Stuff like that. Uh, as long as they can't backdoor us, right? So yeah, always mid prowl uh, in the uh, fifteen to thirty minute mark, right? Otherwise, we are um, uh, going to have big problems. Okay, so big, like honestly, big problems being not just losing the wave, but they're gonna flank us from behind, right? So yeah, here um, I don't know what this is, but this is never gonna work. So we shouldn't even path here, right? Oh, somehow LeBlanc is not dubbing over the wall, or? This is looking more troll by the second, by the way. <laughs> okay, we gotta talk about this. Um, hopefully we kill this guy. If we don't, it's really bad. Just flash, just fucking flash for it. Oh, no. Okay. It's, oh, oh, God. All right, back it up. Back it up. Okay. I think we know what the issue is. The three main things we've been talking about so far... Are related to map awareness decision making stuff right so this is definitely the area to target this doesn't really seem like the mechanics of the issue i mean sure you let that guy get away one time but i mean uh, you didn't let the you didn't let her get away after she go for it so i mean it's, i think it looks it looks fine right so what, we, what the real issue it seems to be is the the decision making based off of the information you have okay so when you look at this and nocturne is going for the leblanc Right, and you want to help this guy because he's really strong. This is never gonna work. <clears throat> right, but not just their whole team is missing. Where is your team? Okay, and let's say that that doesn't mean you can't do anything. But what makes Nocturne strong? And if you take a look, what is what does ulti look like? So we know from like you know, yeah, black and white. Like this is black, like pretty black and white. Yeah, we we already know this is never gonna work right beyond leblanc afk or w's into nocturne for some reason i mean shit even if she w's into nocturne she takes a w back so just, there's just no way right so yeah that's how we know that the default is you know we can think about this stuff but honestly we just go mid right to fix mid and we're good okay so definitely many reasons to um come to this conclusion but yeah um doing this is one of the fastest ways to lose the game any any sort of 4v5 bad fight is the fastest way to lose the game okay so, um, somehow we're not dying here, but, um, yeah, it's really dicey, for sure. Oh, Nocturne died, bro! Your game shut down, guys, we're fucking- Oh my god, Aatrox died! Dude, this is a fucking disaster, dude. And Caitlyn is getting all of top, dude. This is literally so- this, Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is like a negative 5 already, alright? So, um, yeah, like- we're getting outscaled because we didn't even get anything off that. And Kaylin just is pushing all of top, right? So, yeah. We definitely need to be stick to the fundamentals, okay? Where we are not just like the 4v5 thing, but no matter what, you need mid prop. No matter what. <clears throat> exactly, right? And, and what did we accomplish? We actually did nothing. Well, actually, it was worse than nothing. We helped Nocturne Int, right? So... Right, right. It's worse than nothing. So, um, yeah, making good decisions is, is like, there's a few ways to kind of look at it. But the obvious one is if you make a good decision, it's going to help your team, right? But it eliminates the chance of you making a bad decision because you already made a good decision, right? So there's no int, int snowball effect that's gone, right? 
And also, on top of that, when you make the more good decisions you make, the less the less your teams has to play, like the worse your team can play and get away with it, right? So it's like a saving grace for your team. All right, let's say for example, you're just going mid and Nocturne's like, dude, no one's with me. I guess I just can't do this, right? Then he wouldn't do that crazy shit. But since he saw you coming, it might've you know, been a huge factor in why he's like, fuck it. Let's go, I got Samira, right? Uh, well, if you think about it from our perspective as ADC, we're, we're laning, jungle shows up, we're like, fuck it, we have a jungler. Then they TP counter with their jungler in the bush, right? If you, you've seen this one before, I'm sure, right? And because you think your jungle is here, you're like, oh, this is fine. When in fact it is not fine, right? So um, here we're trying to mess with the box. What the fuck? There's no way. Punish. Punish, 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 punish. Good, good. There is no way. Holy crap. Hey, Samir is your champion, y'all. Um, it was good. It was good. And then we push mid. Very nice. Very nice. This is good. Good stuff. Take the camps. Nice. So I don't know what happened when you were going crazy with Nocturne, but this is all great here, okay? This whole section here where we're going mid, right, is, is exactly what we need to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, I think we just need to, um, what's it called? Stick to uh, the, uh, make make this our autopilot where we're perma-catching waves, right? Uh, I don't think we have to be afraid of LeBlanc here. We can get the cannon, right? We, um, we could probably talk about this, but it's probably not... Um, it's a little bit advanced, but we can talk about this. So, okay, why do we not have to be afraid of LeBlanc? Even though they're on the way. There you go. Okay, so it's pretty quick to see how you came to that conclusion, right? But if we want to be more specific, how does LeBlanc uh, fight us? All right, and you know, do we have any way to block the damage? Of course, your W, right? So, right, exactly, exactly. So it's definitely um, one thing. Just because they're coming doesn't mean we can't fight. Just like how even if it's 4v5 doesn't mean we can't fight with the check nocturnal, nocturnal T. How will we fight? Right. So how these champions execute their gank is going to be very important, right? <clears throat> right. Can't she even stop us, right? So, oh wow, that is not your fault. What the fuck? What happened there? Uh, yeah, but she gale forced away or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we do not want to camp this bush, guys. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, all right, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Right here. This is the this is the thing I'm concerned about. You clicked forwards. Okay, why why is this not good? Yeah, I mean I mean it's that simple, right? So, what 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 what's the plan? What's the plan here? We're gonna dump everything on Gragas and all die, right? So I, I don't know I don't know. Um, this is a Nautilus ulti angle, right? Oh God, your team is actually dying here. LeBlanc's in the bush, by the way. Oh, we're good. You see that though? Sona's like hovering next to the bush that LeBlanc should be in. LeBlanc AFK, actually? I'm confused. Oh, she actually AFK. Coming over the dragon wall, maybe? I don't know, to be honest. But, um, yeah, it cannot be good. Cannot be good. I mean, I don't know. Can you one shot Nautilus here? Oh? No, that's it. We're not getting more, guys. Son ulti, never mind. We can't get more. Um, well, Sona didn't press R, so that's cool. <clears throat> now this is just devolving into some shit show, right? Where we actually can die if we're not careful here. Oh, that's fine. Your ulti has no cooldown, so. <clears throat> okay, I mean, I think you know the issue with this, right? So, what's the issue? Okay, so let's talk about um, this part, okay? So it's actively 4v5, but they're face checking us, right? So obviously we can kill Nautilus here because we just saw it, right? So what are we supposed to do after we kill this dude? Yes, that's it. We have already won. Right, and let's think of it from like a a, a, ta like a, a strategy perspective. Nautilus is dead for 34 seconds. So what does that mean for us as a team? On what? There, there you go. And we threaten Baron, right? And then 
30 seconds has passed and knocked down his ulti again and you know they have to retake control it looks good right but uh if we do stuff like this where we just run at them it's like yo uh yeah exactly right we need to push mid that's it right we need to uh stick to our fundamentals we need to get the the, the mid wave always okay and it'll prevent like random crazy shit like this from happening like oh we could go until sona like instantly dies and then now Aatrox is here and we want to help him, but then Gragas kills us from the side. It's like, I don't know what the fuck is happening here, honestly, right? So, yeah, exactly. It's like C champion, hit champion, right? Um, so yeah, we definitely want to avoid- Oh, you actually lose this! You don't lose this. Oh my god, you actually lose this. Oh no! Well, on the bright side, um, your mechanics are not why you're losing. That's good, right? On the downside, uh, that's <laughs> decision making. <laughs> that's losing us the game, right? So, um, okay, what is happening here, sir? You just saw your whole team die and they're doing dragon. What's the plan? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Okay, whole team is griefing bot. Not your fault, right? What's the plan? Okay, how do we do it? Top is good. Top camps are good. Chickens is good. Mid wave is good. Anything. I don't care. I don't care what you pick. Anything topside. Okay. And how do we know you can't just run like this to go help? Uh that's not necessarily that's not necessarily true. You know, can't you show up and press W and look for a flash ulti, right? Don't we have some kind of angle here? True. But also, you know, how's the fight going right now? <laughs> They're basically dead already, right? So yeah, um, we could, we could, we have an opportunity to do something, but the fight's already over. So um, yeah, we need to go make money, okay? We need to find a way to make money, right? So you see, like you pat bot here, and there's nothing to do, right? I mean, that guy, he flashed. I mean, I don't know. Unless you're willing to flash Q E W, right? There's nothing to go. There's nothing to do here. So we need to go make money, all right? Oh, uh, sir, we didn't kill this guy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Basically, we need to make money. All right. So we definitely could kill that guy, but uh, I'm gonna be less worried about that. Like you said, you it's pretty obvious for you to spot here to use everything. All right. So um, <clears throat> it's fine. I'm not as worried about that kind of stuff. I'm more worried about the de decision making. Where let's let's look at it from um, like how we use our time here. So let's go from here. We're at 23 minutes and 40 seconds. And uh, the, the stuff ends around after they get dragon, right? Okay, so for a minute, what do we do? What do we get accomplished? Right, exactly. So that's this is the issue, I think, with the core issue with your gameplay is you need to be finding a way to get stuff done. And getting stuff done is not killing them. It's making money, right? Getting as much XP and gold as possible and to the point where you literally stat check them. It's possible at this elo to just stat check them as ADC. You just farm every wave and they are giga trolling. Yeah, exactly. Especially with Samira. Especially with Samira, right? So imagine if you have Infinity Edge here, which you actually could because um, this game is pretty funny, right? Uh, wow, she is actually owning us. Oh my goodness. She's the one stat checking us now. That's not good. Uh, so yeah, I think that's kind of the main idea. I mean, at this point, it's already... Um, I don't want to say too late, but Samir is a champion that's very reliant on the mid game. And if we are um, not navigating the mid game properly, we can't win, right? Because we'll be useless in a fight. If we're useless in a fight, it's 4v5. And that's never, uh... yeah, exactly. Oh no, what was this? What was the plan here? You didn't even have combo ready, right? Can you even get, what is it, flash, E, Q, W, two hits? It's not even good, I think, right? So... <laughs> Hopefully no one saw, and we stack on Nautilus, right? Oh, please tell me we can kill this dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is why, this is the issue, right? Why can't we kill people with ulti? <laughs> the mid game was um, spent doing nothing. So we have no money, right? That's it. That's it. You didn't play this poorly or anything. It's just you stat check yourself somehow by having no money, right? 
So I think that's the big, the big, um, the big picture. Okay, when it comes to the mid game. <clears throat> let's fast forward. Let's fast forward. In terms of laning, I think it's just um, don't die to the jungler in a nutshell. But how we don't die to the jungler is, you know, seeing where our jungler is and their jungler is. And just because um, it looks like they ran away doesn't mean they actually left <laughs> until proven otherwise, right? <clears throat> so uh, that was a nice kill. We can look for a chain kill here. Oh, I like this. You didn't use E? Oh, shit. Why don't we use E here? I'm surprised. We can talk about this might be a Samira thing actually. Let's talk about this real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So um check it out. You're trying to kill her with like auto attacks and Q, right? Uh right, but it's also how does Samira do damage outside of Ulti? Uh what kind of Q? What kind of Q? Melee, 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 right? So this is just a Right, to me, to me, this is just a melee Q, straight up. But somehow we didn't... Um, somehow we're going for like auto attack, like range range damage, right? And you can see that it doesn't kill her, right? So, uh, not sure. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Not sure what happened there, but... Okay, it's not, not, not a problem then, okay? I'm, I'm sure you you can easily recognize that kind of stuff, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about that. Definitely melee, melee her ass. Uh, <clears throat> okay, fast forward, fast forward. Uh, we have Infinity Edge now, but the um, game is a little bit tenuous. I think they are outscaling, unfortunately. Uh, actually, we have Sona, maybe not. Wow. We lose this game? That's crazy. Uh oh. Is this allowed? I don't know if you guys can do this. Alright, you tell me. What are we, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> what are we supposed to do if we want Baron? If you want Baron. Mm. Okay. I want to you're gonna you're gonna yeah okay. I want you to memorize this. We need to push the mid wave. Okay? Every no exceptions. There are no exceptions. You know how they punish you if you if they, if you do this? Yeah, they take your Nexus, right? You can't even do the Baron fast enough. They actually take your Nexus here. They hit the they hit you like fuck, we gotta go back. And then you guys Either base or you walk back, and then they go to Baron. It's like insane, right? So yeah, you cannot, you cannot not push mid. It's impossible, okay? You cannot not push mid, all right? And let's say like this is the best case scenario where you didn't push mid. Now they're just fucking flanking you, right? So that's the best. That's the best case. It's so sad, right? So yeah, this is just the easy cookie cutter strat for you to practice in the mid game. You need to get the mid wave no matter what. So it doesn't mean you have to push and die for it, but it means that if they are getting the mid wave, you need to you need to clear the mid wave. Right. Oh, this is awkward. Um, LeBlanc just heals you here. Oh, okay. Uh, we can talk about this real quick, actually. Hmm. Um. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Right, so Samira, this is a champion where if you go in it doesn't work, we have a high chance of just getting owned, <laughs> right? So, um, how do we make this ulti better? Mm. Well, LeBlanc is kind of dashing here and there, right? Okay, is there a clear way to make this ulti work right now? Yeah, I mean... Do we have to do anything crazy here? Yeah, we're already winning, right? So until you see like a... Uh, when you go for this, I want you to think you need to like... You need to kill them. Right? Because she could have heal, she could have flash, she could have gale force, it doesn't matter, right? So I want you to think we are terminating with extreme prejudice. We're one-shotting them. If you want to make a play like this. Otherwise, you just hit the closest guy. No problem. Right? Like this is winning. You guys are winning. Straight up. You could like AFK right click and you guys are winning, right? But then when you did this, it's like, oh, they have a chance to, um, they're like, have a chance to just kill you, which is what they did. And if they kill you, what happens to the Baron play? Right, we might not have the damage to do it. Hopefully Nocturne can still do it in Aurelia. Oh, your teammates are griefing. Ah, I see. This Nocturne does not deserve to win, by the way. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? I mean, like, look, I mean, okay. It's gonna sound stupid, 
But you dying there made it so you guys didn't get the Baron. Even though your team could have done it. You were not alive to force your team to do it, right? It's like, it's funny because it's like, oh, obviously it's not your fault that you guys didn't get Baron. But if we played better, we could have gotten it. So does that make it your fault is the question. And in solo queue, we need to be harsh with ourselves to improve, right? So it's going to be our fault, okay? So yeah, I think in terms of PvP, if there is something to look at, Yeah, um, that was fucking troll, dude. You're Nocturne. I hope your Nocturne loses, dude. Well, I mean, you're in the game, but like, you know, <laughs> that was, I mean, you should not, you should not play like this and win, honestly. Uh, that was really insane, honestly. I have no idea what to say. <clears throat> oh, we are running at them. Okay, all you have to do is just chill and then wait for a good ulti, right? So if we E in here, uh, we were uh, in a bad spot. Oh? Samira though, uh, melee range Fiora wins, I would say. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. <clears throat> so, what was the um, issue here? Yep. All right. <clears throat> so, right. So, what's the um, the number one issue here is the Gragas, right? Because we were not, we did not get to play the team fight, right? So how do we fix something like this? If the problem is Greg is blindsiding us, how do we fix something like this? Well, how do you know he's coming? Because here, I know exactly what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're looking at, right? You can tell me too, right? What are you looking at here? Yeah, exactly. You're looking right in front of you. I mean, you're not even looking at Fiora, right? Because we can see here clearly your screen is centered on one dude only. <clears throat> right? So, <clears throat> what do we need to do in order to know that Gragas is going around? And how do we do that? <clears throat> Wait, you have camera lock on? Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Take off camera lock. And then when we take off camera lock, what are we looking for? <clears throat> Mm, let's not even go there. We don't even need to do that yet. I want. I just want you to say, look. I, I just want you to practice. Look at the rest of the team. You, you see the guy you're hitting. Now look at the rest of the team. Okay. And we want to. Right. And we want to glance at them. Okay. It's not easy to do because you're. You just want to um, look at the Nautilus the whole time. But okay. Let me show you some examples. All right. When you hit someone. We want you to look at the rest of the team. That's what we said, right? Look at this. Look at who we're hitting, then look at the rest of the team. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> so the concept is like speed reading. Have you heard of speed reading? Where you glance at the words, but... Oh, sorry, yeah. Right, but you don't, you know, the little voice in your head that's reading it out loud, you can skip that. Right? So that's exactly what this is. We're going to glance at the words. The words being the enemy team, champions. And then your subconscious will be like, oh, dude, that's a fucking, that's a fucking, uh, like, fiddlesticks, bro, right? And he's going to ulti you, right? So watch this. Watch how I'm hitting, then look at the rest of the team, okay? So Senna, Philos, and Fiddle is the trick here. Okay, did you see it? Right, he was in the bush the whole time, in fact, right? And who are we looking at? Who do we want to look at? Senna, because I want to hit this bitch. And then I'm like, hey, remember, we're glancing. Yeah, exactly, right? Because, and the only way we'll ever know that is if we physically looked at him. And we physically looked at him when he popped out. Right? It's like right there. Uh, let's, let's see, where, where is it? Exactly, it's right there. Or you can make a guess. Either one is good, but... This is the, the uh, a main idea to help prevent, you know, tunnel vision or whatever, whatever buzzword they call it now these days, right? So, now prevent you from dying fiddle, and that's the Gregus, right? So if you take a look at this fight, I want you to glance at, well, I mean, we can't pan the camera, but look at the map and figure out where their team is. Just glance real quick. Okay. You see any, uh-huh, and you see, look, and you see, exact, see? With just one look at the map, we already know where they all are. Right? And that's exactly what we're looking at. So you see, okay, Greg is ulted. Oh, he's going around. What the fuck? 
He's below me, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly, right? He's, they're all coming over on this from this side and this side. Kayla LeBlanc went like came came to join her team, right? And then in this way, we don't act actively have to process what's happening, but our brain will tell us, oh, he's he's right here, right? So that would prevent us from uh, being in a sticky spot here, right? And I think um, no one on your team is aware. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? If you're looking at how your team is playing, no one, nobody knows. Oh yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if your team knows, as long as we're good. We're the important guy in the team fight, right? So yeah. Um, and then you are forced to use ulti here. It's not bad, um, but it was not good enough, right? So we just lose the fight, right? Obviously not something we would want to um, be forced to use. So yeah, we, we definitely lose the fight. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> we didn't lose the game though. Eh, we pretty much lost the game. We have no flash, so... <clears throat> There's no big play here. Uh, I don't think you killed this guy. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looking for Gragas here. Like, every time we hit this Nautilus, right? We're looking for, like, Greg. We're, like, looking at the map. Look for their his teammates. It's not completely over, but we lose the Baron because we have no ulti, so... I don't know if they know that, but... I'm sure they, I'm sure they know that. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, oh, that's awkward. <laughs> exact same thing, right? Exact same thing. So, this one's, it's like the same thing, but it's a little harder because you don't initially see them. But it's the same, same trick, okay? So, this is, this is what this is. We weren't, I wasn't really going to talk about this unless you died to it, but you died to it, so let's talk about it, all right? So, we're going to want to hit the guy. This is you approaching that team fight there, right? And we want to hit the guy that's right in front of us. This is it. Okay, now the next step is look for them. I see nothing on the map. Physically cannot find them. Okay, figure out, find a way to do it. Because if you don't, you lose. Right? So in our case, have, okay, yes, exactly. So in, in here, do we even have a way to do it? Then you have, exactly, you have to go around. There's no, uh, there's no alternative, right? So uh, in my case, I have a blue orb, so we use this, right? And what do you think we're going to find? <laughs> oh, the river bush, you think? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, that's better, right? The, you, you do the one that you would do if you were on the enemy team. So I would go around. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck, guys? They're all here. And then they're, I mean, of course, they they go for it anyways and they lose because we can see them, right? Oh, yeah. The whole team got sick. Look at this. If I didn't do that, we are actually getting one shot by Lissandra Ari on the right, right? Look at this. Whole team is just looking at the Zin here, right? Look at this. And I'm like, guys, hello? And you see Oriana, do you see that knee-jerk reaction? She's like, yo, what the what the heck? <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of the the idea um, that will help you in the team fights. okay? If there is a PvP thing that you want to work on, I think this is it. okay? And then let's look at this one. Do you have a third replay by any chance? Okay, okay, okay. But these are the most important, I, I would assume, right? These two? Okay, okay. So, oh wait, we already died. Wait, what? What happened? Did you face check Tribush? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. You face check Tribush against. Oh? How did we die? Wait, what? Oh, you took W. Are you gonna. And we're trying to hit the Jin, but um, it's too hard losing, so... Oh, don't auto-attack! You need to run, bro! Bro, you need to run, bro. You have Q and that's it, Chief. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Okay, how do you feel about this? Okay, let's watch. We're hitting Jin. We're hitting Jin. We do zero damage, unfortunately. Okay, now what? All right, we good. And then he hit the he hit the thing, right? So what's the punish? Yeah, max range Q, right? And how come we can't go for more? Hmm. Yeah, you don't have any damage, right? Yeah, 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 we have no damage, right? We just can't kill, right? So, not sure if this is a, um, maybe this is more of an unlucky thing than anything else, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure if we should be worried about this. What do you think? 
Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, you guys both died. That's not good. Right, exactly. Your job is press the fat you and then this is a Nocturne gank. This doesn't work. Wow. This ELO loves Nocturne gank like this, dude. What the fuck? Dude, you actually almost killed that guy. You can flash, almost. Dude, what is this? If you take any way, anything away from today, it's that jungle ganking like that is a fat, fat fucking grief, okay? Um, it's, that was really bad. I mean, Trundle can do whatever he wants now. Oh? How is this happening? Hmm. We got hit by the Jin W. Feels bad. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's still something not to something. Maybe something we still st still shouldn't worry about. I don't know. Maybe if it happens a few more times, we're gonna worry about it. All right. This Nocturne is just sitting in the bush, bruh. It actually worked too. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. That's fine. You played that fine. You played that fine, right? We got the wave. See, the important part is the ADC gets the whole wave, right? If you don't get this wave, then it's actually really bad. But it's fine if your teammates are dying and we're trading. It, it, it's whatever, right? As long as we're getting the XP and gold, we're happy. Right? The worst is like the ADC dies and the support is like eating the wave. That's like, bro, not good. Okay. Nice. I mean, this is fine. Just let Senna go for some nice trades. Uh... I mean, Trundle Pillar, is this even good enough? Yeah, it's Q, right? Okay, it's a disaster. Ha! <laughs> okay, whatever. 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 And then Nocturne ulti, not our lane. He went mid, right? So we need to push this. Um, do we push it in? We need to push it in, right? Right, and we saw that their jungle made a play mid. So we are free to do something right now. And that right now is going to be get the wave in, right? So, yeah, we need to get the wave in. But, you know, it's, um, I would not worry about it as much, okay? Remember, we got, we got a triage. We got a, we got a focus on the, we got bigger fish to fry, I would say. Um, Trano's inting, not your fault. Wow, this game is fucking grief. <laughs> uh, okay, good thing we didn't get dough. Jin at low HP. We're going to slow push into a crash, right? Seems fine. The Nocturne ulti will be up again. Fast forward, fast forward. There's the Nocturne ulti. You're fine, you have ulti. Uh, this is all good. All right, as long as we're stabilizing, it's not bad. Okay, let's see this. So Senna's going for some trades. Uh, should be fine. Oh, it's not fine. Leona is broken. Oh, oh no. Q? There's something interesting you keep doing. You know what it is? Yeah, you throw the Q and then what do you what do you do? What do you think? Yeah, to, to auto attack, right? What what's happening? What's the plan here? So I think I think uh, we're I think um, it's the mechanics are looking strange on Sivir because you're not playing as much or was it one of these replays or? Because um, the strategy is press Q, right? So anything else is kind of like not a plan. I should you, you you could say right like like this right. This is just gonna happen every time, right? So just like what happened earlier with the center W, right? We're walking up to like auto attack or something, but uh, you know you already did all your damage, right? So when it comes to Sivir, I think. Uh, your job is to hit the fat Q and you're done. In the fights, right? I think we're losing more to mechanics than anything else in this replay, interestingly enough. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense, right? Because um, if the mechanics are not there, then you don't even get to... <laughs> you don't even get to uh, get to uh, play what's on the screen, much less what's on the map, right? So... Oh god, he's got a Gale Force. Oh, you went mid. Nice. Sure. We got the wave, nice. Uh, your jungle's in base here. What's the plan, guys? <laughs> what do you think? Ah, okay. So, what should you do here? 
What are you supposed to do here? Uh, go mid? Who's mid? Mm -hmm. Okay, go bot. Right? And you need to push wave while they're doing the dragon. Okay? So I think in, when it comes to decision making stuff, we can't uh, 4v5. Okay? This is the fastest way to lose the game. I promise you. I promise you. There's only death here. Only death awaits you here. Uh, unless Nocturne does that. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys still will lose. Even though Nocturne's griefing, right? Dude, Jin is AFK! Wait, he actually DC'd. There's no way. He Look, he actually DC'd. Look at that. Do you see that? That was packet, packet loss. Packet loss, bro. No other explanation. There is no other explanation. That was crazy, bro. No, we don't get the dragon here, do we? Oh my god, dude. I mean, you guys won, but it was... It's, 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 yeah, this is not good. Wait. I mean, did you notice where Akshan went? He also DC'd, by the way. Dude, I, like, you think I'm joking, but, like, I have no other explanation for Jin and Akshan. You see this? Jin and, like, Jin literally DC'd. Wait, what? Akshan is dead? He died to the dragon, bro! You hit him with the Q and he died to the dragon. What the? Dude, I don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, I guess you guys fought it fine, but like, yeah, don't no four v five, okay? That's the fastest way to lose the game. Fat abs, yes, absolute fastest way to lose the game. Okay, let's keep going. I can't believe he won that. That was, I just don't know what to say. Did Jin literally not killing you? And I shot died to the dragon. What the fuck? I have no clue, bro. I have no clue. This is a four v five right here, right? So yeah, um, we actually have a high chance of dying here if we're not careful. Uh, I, wait, hold on. Did Nocturne give up here? I'm surprised. Hmm. That's weird. I mean, I'm not sure why he didn't go for it, but uh, that's fine. Maybe he got afraid of the dragon because he, he remembered the dragon thing, right? But you actually, you actually get caught here, unfortunately, right? So like, you try and spell shield, but his ulti eats spell shield, and then when you get fear, Leona will flash ulti. So yeah, it's it's, it's always a it's depression, all right? So I want you to be I want you to think if it's four v five, we really do not want to fight, okay? Ever at all, unless Nocturne griefs it, gifts it to us, like the Nautilus gifts it to us here, okay? Then we eat those and we're happy. But um, yeah, otherwise this is it's a no go. Uh, how do you guys lose this? What? That was a nice cue, by the way. That was a nice cue. Oh, it is unlosable. It is unlosable. From your position, you can solo carry the game. So, uh, let's see what happens here. <laughs> let's see, let's see. We're looking at Dragon here. Jin's inting. Dude, this is actually impossible to lose, no? There's no way. Okay. We need to discuss, okay? So, what's happening here? Okay, and we're on the dragon, right? So, why is it taking 10 million years? Alright, and Chando, Chando is like, not even on it, okay? So let's, 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 let's talk about this because this is relevant to our mid-game discussion, alright? What, what happened while you were on this dragon for 10 years? Look mid. Okay, what's the problem? <laughs> what's the problem? what's the takeaway from this yeah what, what's the takeaway from this like how do we optimize this but i thought we we're doing the dragon okay exactly there it is right your jungle is not on it therefore your job is to fucking fix mid until he, he's ready right so he's busy getting boss so we need to fix mid okay otherwise you guys are just stuck doing this for 10 years and then Akshan's pushing mid, getting our tower. Like, think about it this way. We are up like 10k gold. Are they allowed to take our mid tower? There is no way, right? There is no fucking way, right? So this, this is the only way they, they, we allow them to do this. So really easy tip for the mid game is just, just mid prop permanent, permanently. Especially when you're winning, okay? If you're losing, we need to catch it before we move. Okay, there are no exceptions for ADC. Literally zero exceptions for now, okay? There might be an exception like 1%, like 10% at a time, but not something you need to learn right now. 
Um, as long as you ulti and flash, we're good. Uh oh. Are we good still? Oh! Not really. Um. Uh, okay. No, Jin, Jin, Jin. I mean, anything kills you here, but Jin, Jin got the auto attack, right? Or the Q or whatever it was, right? So, yeah. Um, I don't know why you didn't flash, but um, you were trying to like be greedy, but um, yeah, it was uh, it's not the worst. We got the mid tower. I'm not. I'm not gonna complain too much here, honestly. I mean, we got his flash and we killed him. I'm not really. It's not like bad, so to speak, but it probably could be better, right? Okay, let's watch this. Okay. Oh, here we go. There's a fight happening here. Senna is getting caught. It's fine. Your whole team is coming, so all you have to do is just press Q. That's fine. It doesn't matter if she dies. Ah, but us chasing into no vision is a little bit spooky. Jax is above you, right? And Akshan's on the right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, push mid. Uh, if you guys don't want to Baron, that's fine, but maybe you should Baron. Um, what the fuck? Why are we not baroning? What's happening? How come we didn't baron? I mean, if we get the inhib, it's it's not bad. But uh, I'm the only reason why I'm concerned is because last game something similar happened, right? We're in a crushing spot. We didn't baron. And here, you guys are going to get sucked into a fight and lose a 4v5, if you're not careful. Okay, okay, I mean... I mean... Uh, I mean, guys. I mean, guys. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. No, 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 It's happening, bro. We lost. We're losing the game. I'm 4v5. I've told you, the fastest way to lose a game is 4v5, okay? This that's If there's any takeaway from today... The fastest, the number one way. It's like, I think stuff like you guys contesting Dragon 3v4, this is like mind controlling you into thinking this is okay. It's not okay. Okay. This is actually how we lose the game straight up. All right. So, <clears throat> like getting the inhib over Baron, you know what? It's pretty equal. Okay. I'm not going to complain at all. As, as long as we're getting one of the two, it doesn't matter. But you cannot 4v5 under any circumstance. There's only one exception. They have to fucking hard grief it or like a five man Yone ulti. And <clears throat> yes, or a five man or ulti or something. On our team, we have nothing. Nothing. Unless they die to Silver Q one by one. Okay. So yeah, there is. Um, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was the reverse and they hit the, the, the major ability. That's so funny. It's pretty funny, right? So uh, yeah, we lose the game now. Um, we're no longer winning. We're even, if not losing right now. Right. So it's not the end of the world, but this is a huge mental hit. Um, if you guys get lose to stuff like this, all right. Um, okay, we're on the dragon. They're ho we gotta get out after we get this, right? Oh, maybe we can uh, fight. It's looking kind of sus though. Okay, there's nothing really to do mid. We just need to wait out Baron, right? Taking camps is fine. Um, I mean, we should win this, no? Oh, just kidding. I think, uh, okay, here's another issue I have. Your Murmana's not ready, somehow. It's 25 minutes in the game, right? And, um, I think part of what will help you is, um, when you die, yeah, exactly. When you, <laughs> when you die, you don't get the stack. That's, that's a, uh, something you learn when you play Ezreal, okay? So every time you die, you lose timing on your Murmana, okay? So I think this, this is not something to focus on, but know that this is a byproduct of what's happening in the game. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we are throwing fat Qs. Like, the Qs are not doing enough for some reason, right? <clears throat> nice kill. Just gotta wait for the next Q. Fat Q on Jin? Oh, come on. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Fat Q on Akshan? Sir? Sir! Oh, you didn't see it. Uh, just server mechanic stuff, okay? So, your whole focus is press Q. Okay. Um, for any ADC champion, we can practice glance at their whole team, and I think that will help you find this silver cube. All right. Honestly, you should be looking at Akshan straight up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he got uh, he got rooted. That was a, he he was dead. Um, uh, but it's fine. It's fine. 
We're just uh, wasting their Baron. This is totally fine. Okay. ARM seems strange, but they're the ones who want to do something with Baron. So I, I don't really have an issue with this. You actually can still win the game from here. I, it's not even losing yet. Oh. That's missing Q is kind of awkward there. Uh, but it's fine. Hey, this silver build looks pretty fun. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, this is uh, this seems pretty suitable to this uh, this elo, this kind of build. Simple to execute, right? It seems decently strong. <clears throat> fast forward, fast forward. Um, we're just AFK until a dragon spawns, I guess. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Big fight. Uh, can't see anything, lol. Ah, it's a disaster. Disaster. That's fine. Give it the dragon. Let's go push top. <clears throat> um, what is happening here? I'm gonna go for two and hit. Um, they're not gonna. Oh my goodness. Okay, not bad. Sure. We got the in hit. Pretty good. And then uh, you can't go first, by the way. Oh, you're checking the bushes, but yeah, it's gone. Fast forward. That's fine. Still not over. It's still fine. Uh, it just looks like we need an ARAM when they have Nocturne. So. <clears throat> clear, clear, clear. Clear, clear, clear. I assume we're getting like, um, I don't know. What kind of lethality item are we getting? Edge of Night or something? Yeah, I mean, I assume for the Nocturne, right? The Nocturne R. So now we can see. Sure. Uh, team is dying. It's not your fault. Okay, let's watch this. Uh, seems fine. We're good, right? Okay, why am I your boomerang? Oh, okay, good. We hit it. Good, good, good. Second one, nice. Ah, uh, he is killing us. Keg W. Uh, we could. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Should we cash out here on the kill? Right, we can. Uh, how do we guarantee a nice Q here? Yeah, Q flash, right? As, as he's escaping, but it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We don't have to. We don't have to look for those. <clears throat> okay, fast forward. Still fine. No, we're still fine. We just wave clear. I just spam Q on the wave, right? The only way you lose is if you get dove somehow. So all you have to do is just don't uh, die to a dive, right? Or uh, maybe this build is looking worse by the second. What the fuck? We're still fine, right? Just press Q. Oh, wow. Just kidding. Wow. I mean, it's not over, though. Okay. Well, this is uh, interesting. Oh? You're going to let Action back door, guys? Guys? Senna cannot stop Action, can't she? Oh, he didn't go for it though. Interesting. Uh, so we got the soul. We have open Nexus. This is kind of funny. This game is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, basically all this shit is happening because of the mid game, right? So yeah, this is actually all backdoor potential. Jax, Akshan, I don't know. This is a triple in Hib. It's, triple in Hib is losing, I think. Yeah, we can't. I don't think we can, you can recover from triple in Hib. So uh, it's just over. So, um, yeah, I think uh, just like the last uh, game, it is a mid-game gap, okay? And if there are team fighting gaps, I want you to glance at the whole enemy team. I don't even care about you figuring out who can kill you, okay? You just need eyes on everyone, okay? Because um, the stuff that who can kill you, that comes next. Then it's like, okay, what abilities do we watch out for when we glance at them? But right now, you need to put your eyeballs on them. The hard one to do is when you have no vision, like this Samir example. That's the hard one. But, uh, yes, but if you have, yeah, if you have no clue, you just, I mean, you're just forced to do this. Even if it's, if you find out at the end of the day, like, oh, you did have info, you just missed it. It doesn't matter. Like, in the moment, you have to not int it, right? Um, when it comes to the uh, decision making, I think the strategy that will help you the most is um, you need to find out where our team is and then come up with what we're supposed to do. So uh, let's see, for example, here. Um, the most obvious example is when we're all dying at the inhib. <clears throat> okay, so we're, we're like pushing this. 
Now, I want you to look at the map. Where is your team? Do you have any missing people? Seven. And then you look at their team. Do they have any missing people? No. Well, yeah, he's, com he's coming, right? So this is like, they're coming like this, okay? So basically, when I say missing people, they literally cannot get to the fight in time, right? So TP do not count as missing people. If there's someone here, he's going to TP in, right? So it's just 4v5. That's it. And then that will tell you, what do we do? Oh, shit, we need to run when they spawn. Yeah, exactly. We need to run when they spawn, guys, right? If you don't, you instantly lose the game. That's what I want you to think, okay? Uh, that's kind of the main... Um, the main thing I think in your games, besides the sometimes you lose a team fight, right, is the four v five stuff. I mean, like here we were like we were like crushing, right? Where were we? It was the knock this this shit this shit right here, missing teammates. Okay, two people top. This is FF. Their whole team is here, right? This is quick maths. Okay, you just you just know instantly off the top of your head. Their whole team is here. We have no teammates, so auto loss. I don't even have to think about it. And then um. Same applies to, you know, any mid-game situation here. Like, oh, fight's breaking out top, 5v5, I'm down. Fuck it, let's go, right? Uh, but it, she ate cooldowns, right? So it, it's never really like, just because they died doesn't mean it's 4v5. If they eat cooldowns, they were relevant, right? 4v5 is like, um, they died at basic abilities, okay? So like, um, I don't know, <laughs> she has AFK and knocked and killed her with fear. I don't know, something like that, right? Um... So yeah, if they if they eat major cooldowns, it's not really uh, not really four v five. But yeah, that, you get the idea, right? <clears throat> and you guys did really well here. It wasn't four v five. You guys found something good to do, right? This is uh, this is four v five straight up. <laughs> so yeah, we would really prefer to not fight, guys. If they want to die, sure, but let's not you know keep it going. Don't keep it going, because remember that Nautilus is not free. He was not free. What did we, what did he eat? Exactly, right? He ate a really ulti plus nocturne cooldowns, right? So it was not free. Also, some of your health, but I don't think that matters as much. But yeah, um, we are not 4v5. We are we did not just... It's not a real 4v4, guys, right? Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the, the big takeaway, all right? Is seeing the fights, look at your teammates. Do we have any missing people? Look at them. Do they have any missing people? And it's really obvious for them because, you know, if they're not top, then they're all here, right? Uh, and then that will determine what you're supposed to do. If you have no idea what to do, just sit in the back and just wait. Just figure it out. Okay. And you want to see some examples? Oh, sorry. You go. Oh, yeah. We have spam pinging, right? Uh, we do not want this. Right? It's the fastest way to lose a game. And then what if you're 5v4? What do you do? Exactly. Okay. So we can take a look at some of this. Um real quick i don't know if you've seen these before but um let's use this one uh there's a there's a few examples here but let's use this one um okay let's fast forward here okay so they're doing the dragon in our face right we couldn't stop it unfortunately right <clears throat> so let's watch the full thing to get um what it feels like in game and while i'm doing this red i'm actually just looking at the map i'm going mid i'm looking at the map did you see it no it's right here i paused Mm -hmm. Team is not TP. So how do you feel about this? <clears throat> 5v4, 5v4. Let's do it in terms of... Um, I think it's easier to make sure we we have our team numbers first. That way... Because, you know, everything is 4v5, right? So how do you know? We have more people, right? So yeah, we have 5v4, force. How hard do we force? What do you think? Yeah, as hard as possible. Exactly. We're fucking going, guys. Look, everyone's pinging. Like, guys, we have to punish. Right? This is we literally won the game. I don't even have to watch, right? As long as someone gets caught, we won the game. Right, check it out. What do you think? We're doing some crazy shit like flash pillar, Ari's ulting nothing. Doesn't matter, right? Ari misses charm. Bard misses ulti, doesn't fucking matter, right? <laughs> just go. We just gotta go, right? Look at this. I'm flashing it for auto attacks. Does it matter? No. <laughs> right, look at this. We look, people are still getting caught. Isn't this crazy? We're playing like absolute donkeys. It doesn't it actually just does not. It just doesn't matter at all, right? And this, we won off this straight up. We end the game, right? So this is. I want you to think four v five is the fastest way to win and lose a game, right? And uh, if I want to look at like one more, I guess. Um, but you kind of get the point, right? Kiana's top. You know the top laner is a one v one bot with TPs. Okay, fucking go mid, easy, right? You don't even have to kill them. Just fighting is winning, all right? Fighting is winning, unless you guys are like 20k behind or something. 
<laughs> something insane. But your benchmark for how far behind you can be and still win is this Sivir game. They are like 10k gold down. Probably. Exactly. You took a... You, exactly. Yeah, you took a 1 4v5, 1 bad 4v5, and you guys lost the game. Straight up. Right? So, um, that's the big takeaway, all right, from today. So, <clears throat> there are other small things we talked about that you can take a look at, but I would not give them your active attention. Okay? Um, they're not important in the grand scheme of things, right, for us right now. Uh, so, what is that? S some small laning stuff we talked about. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, pretty, 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 pretty much. Uh, wait, do you have any questions before we call it? Yep. Every time a fight breaks out, I want you to look at them. Yeah, I want you to use your eyes. Use your eyes. Oh, bro, what is this name, dude? <laughs> <clears throat> And uh, that's a big one, I would say. If you lose 5v5s, that's the number one reason, I think. Um, what else? Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah. Always push the mid wave. Swear to God. Swear to God, right? And I think the thing that's making you waste time is trying to 4v5. Right? You see a fight, and you're like, damn, I should like kind of go there, right? Yeah, no, you do not go there. You go far. You go far, right? <clears throat> They're buying you time to go make money, basically. If your team is three v five, three v five, right? Um, or even like one dude is wasting. Hey, here's a here's a really extreme example. Let's say five people are catching the support, right? Let me just like get a map here real quick. Let's say like the support is like down here, and five people are chasing him, and our our whole team is here. Do we go help him or do we do the Baron? Oh, we do the Baron, right? Is he's buying time for us to do something? Right? And let's say support's getting chased here and all of us are here. Do we do the Baron or do we go help him? We go help him. It's a 5v5 and they're chasing him. Right? So what's the difference? Right. Well, what was the difference between the support being down here in Africa and the support being next to us? Exactly. You can't help. It's physically impossible. Right? <clears throat> <laughs> even with five TPs, is it is it even worth, right? So yeah, that's that's exactly what it is, right? You physically cannot help; it's not winnable. So we must go do something else, right? If it is winnable, we go fucking fight it, right? So, and then the less extreme example: you have two people here, and four enemies are here, and you're mid, and you want to go rotate. You can't; physically impossible. And you go do something else, right? <clears throat> so that's the that's the idea. All right. <clears throat> so, um, I would say in terms of building that into a habit, we need to look at the map. Let's say, what are some good, good timings? I don't know. Do you, how often do you look at the map in the mid game? Okay, then instead of, yeah, I, I would say instead of looking at more, adding more map awareness habits, um, I should say looking at the map habits, it's what do you look at when you look at the map? So let's look for our teammates. Yeah, yeah, we need to look at our teammates and then we look at them, okay? We're like, oh shit, I see Jin, let's go, let's go Rift. You see how fast it is, right? <clears throat> so, let's push mid, let's go Rift, easy, right? And I see, oh shit, they're all topside, okay, uh, what the fuck? I think we should still go Rift, Jin is bot, <laughs> right? And then like, Chandel is like, trying to do something else, fuck it, we go bot now, because Chandel's bot, <laughs> right? So, you see like, we just made three decisions in the span of like, one wave, right? So, yeah, we're just basically staring at the wave unless the screen needs our attention, okay? Staring at the back, I should say. Um, sounds good? <clears throat> okay, awesome, awesome. Good luck in your games. Let me know how they're going. If you have questions, definitely hit me up. I'm always online Discord. Um, other than that, I'll upload to YouTube so you can go back and rewatch. Alrighty, man. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. No problem. Have a good one, bruh.